how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'll be showing you some useful tips tricks and customization features that not many of you know about well as always if you own a samsung phone then i'm sure you'll learn something new and useful from this video so make sure you watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started Although the Samsung's One UI has a lot of amazing features, one thing that still annoys me is when I have to hide certain applications from the home screen and app drawer, what we usually do is, we go to the home screen settings, scroll all the way down and here we select hide applications. Now simply choose the apps that you want to hide. This basically gets the job done and when you look for that specific app, you won't find it anywhere on your phone. But what if you want to access that application? Then again you need to go to the home screen settings and unhide the apps that you want to use. I mean how annoying this can be for someone who just quickly want to access that hidden application. Now in order to fix this, what you can do is you can add those hidden apps onto your edge panel so it is quickly accessible for you and then you can actually make the edge panel invisible so that nobody will know there is an edge panel on your home screen except you. In order to do that, simply open the panel settings, tap on the pencil icon and here add all those hidden applications that you want to access. Once that is done, now go to panel settings, click on handle. You can then increase the size, change its color. But what we are going to do is we will increase the transparency all the way up to 100% to make it fully transparent. Now every time you want to access the apps that are hidden, you can just open the edge panel and still access those applications without having to unhide the apps every time. Since we are talking about the edge panel, there is another useful feature that many of you not using on your Samsung phone. Guys, if you want to call someone, you open the phone dialer, go to contacts and search for the contact that you want to make a call. Instead of doing this every time, you can simply add your favorite contacts inside the edge panel. All you have to do is just go inside the panels and enable the people option. Now just click on edit and add all your favorite contacts to the list. Now whenever you want to make a call, simply swipe over and click on the contact to call directly from your home screen. Next, whenever I plug in my charger, not only does it change my lock screen wallpaper, but I also get this beautiful charging animation that looks really really good. In order to get this feature on your Samsung phone, you need to head over to your phone settings Select modes and routines. Now tap on this plus icon. Here for the if condition, you need to search for charging status. Make sure you have enabled both wired and wireless charging. Then click on done. Now for the then condition, search wallpaper and then select change lock screen wallpaper. Here you can add any dynamic wallpapers that comes built in on your Galaxy phone or you can download some nice charging animated wallpapers from any third party apps or directly from Google and set it when you charge your device. Finally, save the routine by simply giving a name to it. That's it. Now whenever you charge your phone, you'll get this beautiful animated wallpapers that looks really cool on your phone. Since we are into customization, there is another interesting feature that I wanted to show you. Whenever you set a new wallpaper to your home screen, you just apply the wallpaper without using any of these wallpaper customization options that are available right at the bottom. Guys, you can add some blur effect, change the color, adjust the saturation. But what's even more exciting here is when you select the frame option, you can create some beautiful shapes and make your wallpaper look even more interesting. You can also use the AI suggest feature that will help you to further customize the wallpaper with the help of AI. Well, all these features not only work on your lock screen, but you can also apply them to your home screen wallpaper too. There are times when you're browsing through the web and you want to download an image or picture, but without the background. Well, basically it's a PNG file that you want to save. So when you long press and click on this option that says download image, it's going to download and save that picture with the actual background. But if you're using a Samsung phone running the latest One UI version, then we do have this option called AI Select, which you can access by simply opening the edge panel. Now you just need to select the exact portion on the screen, then long press on the subject that you want to save. That's it. You can either save it as a sticker or download it directly to your gallery. Once done, now when you go to the gallery, you'll have a perfect PNG file without any background. This is one of the many use cases for the AI Select feature, which we get on One UI 7. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features for your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.